What is the name of the canal that goes through Central America? Um, In? Mississippi Canal. No, no, no. It goes, I'll give you a hint. It's in Panama. No? Uh, Jennifer, what does the Panama Canal connect? The Mediterranean Sea and the Gulf of Mexico? Mediterranean <laughs> Sea. President Teddy Roosevelt here. Between the years of 1903 and 1914, America, led by me, accomplished one of the greatest engineering feats of all time. The building of the Panama Canal in Central America. Theodore Roosevelt was an imperialist. He actually gloried in the term. And he wanted the United States to be a real empire. Roosevelt's design included linking the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans by building a canal through the Isthmus of Panama in northern Colombia. Such a canal would greatly facilitate shipping and ensure America's strategic hold on the region. But when the Colombians refused to cooperate, Roosevelt encouraged the Panamanians to revolt against their Colombian rulers. Within a couple of days, we recognized the new Independent Republic of Panama, and within uh, another few days, we had concluded a treaty with them. Roosevelt said, when other people debated, I took action. Construction of the era's engineering wonder began in 262 million cubic yards of earth had to be moved. Thousands of workers would have to fight tropical heat, swamps, dangerous working conditions, and deadly fevers that would take 6,000 lives. Roosevelt couldn't resist getting involved. He consulted with engineers, scientists, doctors, and in 1906, he went to see it all for himself. The first time a president had ever traveled outside the United States while in office. He walked everywhere, talked to everyone, saw everything. He was up and down the line in his white linen suit, in the mud, uh, up on the equipment to see how it worked, talking to the fellows who were doing the actual digging at every turn, and he adored it. What seems to be the problem here? Take a look. To dig the canal, we got to move 211 million cubic yards in rock and soil, build the largest earthen dam in existence, and put together a series of canal locks, the likes of which the world has never seen before. But the workers are just going around in circles. Hmm. Have you tried asking the workers to dig in a straight line? A straight line? Start digging here and finish there. I struck the beach with such speed, I continued driving across the land for 50 miles. I had cut through from one ocean to the other. He was quite certain that it was what he would be remembered for. And he put his stamp all over it, just as he did everything else he ever touched. Other presidents would be in office before the canal was finished, but it's Theodore Roosevelt's canal. We all know that. Roosevelt said he was more proud of the Panama Canal than any of his other accomplishments from his administration. There we go. I now declare the Panama Canal to be open. Bully! For he's the guy that fell that nobody can deny. <laughs> I propose to 
a toast to the Panama Canal. Blow out the candle, Father. Oh. <laughs> First cut here. Hey, nothing to it. There you are. No easy that one. You all go on and finish it. <laughs> That's how Teddy dug the Panama Canal. Right.